have a virtual scavenger hunt. Now there's a few different ways that you can do this. The simplest way is to give your students a list, then give them a set amount of time to find the items. And once they've found the things on the list, you tick them off and whoever finds the most is the winner. You could also put your students into teams and they could work together to identify the things on the list. If you know how to use breakout rooms, it's a really great way of allowing your students to work together. Um, our next one is going to be a little scavenger hunt and I'm gonna copy and paste the five things into the chat for you to go and find. I'm also gonna set you a timer of just God. two minutes to find the things. Okay, so here are the things. There you go, they're in the chat now, and I'm going to set the timer, and the timer is set now. Off you go. Okay, everyone ready to go through the answers? Okay, so if you show up, if you hold up the thing you've got for each one. So, um, something red. Very good. Uh, something small. Oh God, it's so small, I don't know where it's gone. There we go. Ooh, Tim, what have you got there? It's a tiny, tiny, tiny battery. Ah, oh, very good. I like it. Smaller than mine. Um, something old? Oh. A rock. A rock. As old as the earth itself. <laughs> I've got a rock oh, too. I like it. An old camera. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, something beginning with E? This is made of enamel. How it's does a whisk yeah. begin with E? Oh. Oh. Laura. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Laura, how does a whisk begin with E? It's an electric whisk. Oh, okay, okay. Duh. I'll allow it. Uh, and something very light. Post-it notes. Post-it notes. Very good. Tissue cards. I thought you meant oh, light nice. and then shining ball. bright. <laughs> <laughs> Disco. Ah, so I knew what the other meaning of light. I like it very nice. Another way of doing this is to give your students a theme, like for example, going to the beach, and they have to identify things that you would traditionally take to the beach for a trip. And then you might have a secret list of things that you will then use to check off to see how many of the things that you identified are the same as the things that your students identified as needing to take to the beach. The theme could be anything, it could fit with the class theme that the students are actually studying. 